Tex is a simple man. Not too black. Not too white. Unsure of his roots, he is not entirely rooted in anything, but altogether rooted in everything. Join us now as Tex enters the racial zone. What part are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, John's having a costume contest. You should totally join, man. Yeah, I don't, join? I don't know if you could join. What do you do to you, a contest? It may be like you could possibly enter a contest. Oh, yo, yeah. you should you should enter. You need some help, brother? Yeah, do you need some help, brother? Yeah, I sure could use a lift, man. Well, all right then. Put your bike in back and hop in. Yeah, put her in the back. Damn, it's hotter than hell in here. Teasing our new coon. What is wrong with these freaks, girl? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I just, I just want to get out, and I just, but I know I can't because once you marry into the Aryan Brotherhood, there's no getting out. I don't think you're feeling me. Maybe I, I should be feeling you. <laughs> We stop, I wonder, god damn. <sighs> hey, what's in the back? It's a cure for racism. What are you talking about? I'll tell you about it. We really gotta get away from the lab right now. I'll tell you about it. Just be patient. We're out of here.
nigga. Get out of here, nigga. You get out of here, nigga. You shut up, nigga. You shut up, nigga. Stop saying what I say, boy. God damn. Billy Joe? What the fuck? Oh, oh God damn. What the hell? Billy Joe? Damn. We're black. Damn. We're black. Oh, shit. The... Oh, God damn, oh, boy. Shit. Jason Thompson knows how to handle a gun. He learned how to use it growing up in rural Montgomery County, but he prefers to shoot with his camera and use the pistol for sound effects only. He's an actor and a filmmaker with a mission to end racism. I am Tex in the movie, and I'm on my way to a costume party. Tex is a simple man, not too black, not too white. The film is a comedy shot in Texas and California. It costs $35,000 and a year and a half to make. It deals with serious topics involving the Ku Klux Klan and race-based violence. White power! It's an issue that's close to Thompson's heart. I was adopted, and when I was adopted, they said I was white. My papers say that I'm white. But as he explains, growing up in Montgomery County, though his adopted family is white, everyone suspected he wasn't quite white. If I was let my hair grow some, and uh, I would get a little afro action going on, <laughs> you'd realize probably there's something else mixed into that, uh, the whiteness. He can laugh about it now because Texas is changing so dramatically. Though it's true, Montgomery County has fewer people of color than most counties in the Houston area. <laughs> As his movie suggests, the U.S. is rapidly diversifying. According to census data, more than a quarter of the people who live in Montgomery County are not white. I gotta love my Hispanic folks because they're like, you one of us, man. You look, you look like my cousin. In the movie, Thompson plays a chemist who chooses to wear a Klan outfit to a costume party, then unwittingly gets picked up by real Klansmen who kidnap him. Damn, it's hotter than hell in here. He's eventually saved by the wife of a white supremacist. Hey, what's in the back? It's a cure for racism. I won't spoil the movie for you, but here's a clue to its ending. In Tomball, Duarte Geraldino, Fox 26 News.